Hey guys, it's me, Mrs. Lee. Um, I'm here to share my grow story of perseverance for uh, this week. Um, some ways that God has really helped me persevere through this school year might sound a little generic and I guess in some ways I thought my story was even a little too generic to share, but it's what a lot of us have gone through um, and part of what I've gone through this school year as well. Just at the beginning of the school year, especially being really anxious to start and to be quite honest with you, um, it was hard for me to believe that we were coming back. Over the summer, I was pretty convinced that we would be online and coming back into school was tough for me. Um, just being nervous about the virus and people getting sick, um, especially um, just with people in my family who are extra sensitive or have other health concerns. Um, so that is one very practical main way that God has uh, just blessed me and my family. Not to say that he hasn't blessed others who have gotten sick, um, but just he's kept me and my family healthy, which has been awesome. Um, and it, he's really just shown me how much of a blessing it really is to be here in person, uh, getting to minister and getting to share life with you guys and with my fellow coworkers. Um, and that brings me into the next part as well, just um, kind of my mindset for this school year. I'm not sure if you noticed, but I, I do kind of have like a showy personality in front of people, but sometimes that can be kind of a show. Um, it's not always easy for me to get up in front of people and talk in front of people, uh, especially during the first semester. I don't know if it's just nerves from kind of being out of it for a little while over the summer and through quarantine, teaching online, but it was actually really hard for me to just get back in the swing of being around so many people and like being up in front of people talking. I would get really nervous doing it. Um, so God's really pushed me through the, that first semester especially just to really rely on him daily. I would be nervous coming to school um, and I, I struggle with anxiety as um, just with my mental health. And I realized through the, a lot of the first semester that man, I was striving and striving and striving to do it in my own strength. Um, and I wouldn't wish that struggle on anyone, but man, it was one of the first times that I can really say I learned for myself with one of my own experiences that I've learned to find joy in the struggle because of how God was pursuing me. I could honestly say that without anxiety pushing me closer to God, that there were, there were plenty of times where I can just be kind of lukewarm. Just kind of going through the motions, you know, I'm a Christian and um, I, I do the right things, I teach at a Christian school, but was I really pursuing God with all of my heart? At times, no. And like I said, man, that struggle of um, just needing to come to God on a daily basis, just to even get to work and get through the day, was something that was a huge impact on me of really learning what it means to rely on, on God and, and His strength. And that's something I'm definitely still learning and I'll be learning for the rest of my life. But that's something I want to encourage you with, uh, just from my own story, is a lot of times we see struggles or trials as like, um, why is this happening to me? We complain, we grumble, sometimes we might even be angry at God for why would he let something like that happen to us? And I never really understood, like, how, why would you be joyful about a trial? Why would you be joyful about something hard? Like, why wouldn't God just let you not go through it? Wouldn't that be better? Um, and then that's kind of the key is realizing, oh, well, my way isn't better and his way is. And if it takes trials in my life to push me closer to God and to show me that, wow, the God of the universe is pursuing me. He's not okay with just letting me stay lukewarm. He's not okay with just letting me kind of ride the line of like being a Christian but not really pursuing him. That man, if if my if the trials that I go through in my life mean that God is pursuing me to be closer with him, that's joy. Um, so thanks for listening and um, I just wanna give a, a little end here with one of my verses one, one verse that has really encouraged me throughout this school year, and I've shared it with you in class um, if you have me, but I was having a really bad day one time, uh, almost crying in the teacher's lounge. I don't remember why at the time, but we have a bulletin board in there that Dr. Wongan's put up and um, where you can share scripture, and you can leave one or take one. So I was just standing there trying to like get my grounds, like take a deep breath, and I was looking at the bulletin board, and I was like, whoa, 2 Corinthians 9, 8. 
And God is able to make all grace abound to you, so that in all things, at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. So I just want to leave you with that, and even maybe just a little encouragement to you to um, find that scripture. Not only um, read it because we have to in Bible class or in chapel, but let it really fill your soul and um, there's just something special about hiding God's word in your heart and putting it somewhere where you can see it. I've had this little sticky note, thanks to Dr. Mungins, um, on my computer screen all year so that it reminds me and encourages me um, to focus on God and to rely on his strength and not my own.